Did you ever just have that feeling that something just isn't quite right? Um, for whatever reason, when I'm out feeding the animals, you know, you just have a feeling of, of kind of where everything is supposed to be, you know, what your animals are supposed to be doing. And for some reason last night, I had that feeling again, as I was coming over to feed the pigs, just got home from work, it's starting to get dark, and that feeling hit me um, pretty hard. Well, turns out my sixth sense was correct. Um, take a look guys, what happened? So guys, uh, we lost a pig here. Um, I just got home from work, did the normal feeding, went over to check on the piglets with all the rain we had and our black Idaho. Um, she didn't make it through the day. I have no idea, no clue what happened. Um, completely fine yesterday. The problem is Ziggy won't let us go anywhere near um, the body. We're gonna try to get the tractor in here. We're gonna try to scoop her up um, hopefully he's afraid of the tractor a little bit and we're gonna see if we can figure out what happened um, these animals there's been no issues with them um, she obviously farrowed what was that two weeks ago um, she had the couple piglets really no concerns um, so it is a mystery and anytime you lose an animal on the farm it just it really it really sucks especially this close to um, harvest now obviously we weren't gonna butcher her um, but she is you know, the, the mother to, to some new piglets here. So it's, uh, it's always tough. Um, it always comes at a, at a brutal cost. And we're going to see what we can do right now. Fortunately, I'm going to get the help of my dad coming over with his tractor. And we're going to do the best we can. And Ziggy's actually coming up right now. So I'm going to see if I can get down and take a look at this pig. Yeah, so I got down to see her. Um, can't tell, it's too dark to really figure out how long um, she's been dead. Hoping we can get her up into the light, take a closer look. This is not what you want to do when you uh, have a long day at work. I see this all the time, but it is unfortunately part of um, farming. It's just the the timing this year, I'm um, losing a couple animals, um, this has been a little rough. So we're gonna try to get in, get the forks in and actually pick this pig up. Hopefully it scares Zig away a little. It's gonna be dicey. We got her on the forks. We're going to get her out of the gate now. Hopefully, these other pigs uh, allow that to happen. So, guys, we got her hauled away. Um, unfortunately, you know, being dark, I, I couldn't really get good shots with the camera for you to see. Um, no signs of any sort of uh, trauma. Um, no gouges, you know, no, nothing like the other um, pigs um, were after her. I thought for a second it was maybe Ziggy. Um, he was definitely uh, protective over the body, um, but I think that's probably something that pigs would do um, regardless, just knowing. Uh, pigs are very intelligent, um, so knowing that there was a loss, um, he, he could sense that something wasn't right. Um, but anyway, um, really nothing, nothing that stuck out to us. I mean, we flipped the body over a couple times. Um, looked her up and down and, and there was really nothing nothing there only thing um, that I am wondering um, she was she was having a little bit of difficulty um, actually nursing the piglets um, I thought it was really odd the other day I actually saw the piglets um, with our other sow Betsy um, and it almost seemed I don't want to say it seemed like she abandoned them um, but it almost seemed like she wasn't capable um, of raising those piglets and I would see her off on her own a little bit more often um, than before so I'm not sure if it was something um, you know post birth 
um, post farrowing there that it, it caused some sort of complication. Maybe she got infected. Um, and that's the stuff that you're just, you know, you're probably not going to know without breaking the animal down and, and really, um, you know, taking a look at it. But like I said, on the surface, um, there was no sign of, of violence from the other pigs. So um, that is reassuring. Um, sometimes, you know, I do wonder about Ziggy um, just with how big he is. He can he can really handle the other ones if he wanted to. Um, but he's been really good there. Um, but at the end of the day, hey, it's a loss. And, you know, it, it's certainly a tough one. Um, Fortunately, the other sow, Betsy, she'll be able to handle those piglets. So I'm not too concerned there. I don't know if that's right or not, but hey, um, they got to survive. And um, I'm sure that their instinct will kick in and, and they'll know where to go. And I'm sure she'll take them in just fine. But here we are, guys. Um, we've, had some, we've had some rough goes with, with the Idaho pasture pigs. And our Guinea uh, Hampshire crosses, they've been really hardy for us. Um, no issues with them. But these Idaho's, for whatever reason, for us, um, we lost one pretty early on when we got when we got them. Um, we lost one as um, maybe I don't know two months into into having them. It was still basically a piglet at the time, um, and now we lost her. Now the, the difference, obviously, she was fully grown. Um, but I would have to. I'm leaning toward it has to have something to do um, with just farrowing here recently. So anyway, guys, um, this is not how you want to come home from work. You know, the last thing, you know, all I was looking forward to all day, getting home. You know, these long days, you know, you just don't get um, the time to spend with, with the wife and the kiddos. So I um, was looking forward to that. And unfortunately, I um, had to deal with, with something different here. But again, I mean, I, I say it over and over again, you know, this is part of it. I'm going to continue to show you guys the reality of having a farm out here and you know sometimes you just have to do things that, that you really don't want to do sometimes you're put in situations that you know quite honestly they're heartbreaking in a lot of ways i mean that's it's money down the drain in a lot of instances not to sound insensitive for a life but um, that is ultimately um, part of this as well and then it's also you know food off the table and i don't want to make it sound um, too grim there um, we, we still have plenty of pigs um, the others are doing very well the piglets survived the rain yesterday so i always like to try to end on a positive note you know look at the glass half full um, everything is is going pretty well here um, and unfortunately um, loss is all part of life and it's all something that we're gonna have to move on from so we'll try to learn from it we'll try to continue to figure out what could have gone wrong here um, if you guys have any ideas i know there's a lot of people out there um, that like to drop comments in below um, definitely please do so um, we would really appreciate your help here um, I'll, I'll definitely be reaching out to to a couple buddies as well um, to see if they have any thoughts and if we find anything else um, we'll be sure to let you guys know we'll definitely throw some updates out there um, for you but until then guys um, yeah that's today so um, thank you for watching if you like what we're doing as always you know please subscribe to the channel and we'll be with you another day guys